Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to experiment using a Faraday fabric or a bag. So this is a fabric um, that I bought from Amazon. I'm going to put the um, link in the description. I would appreciate it if you can use my link if you want to purchase this. So the purpose of this bag is for you to um, put something inside the fabric or inside the bag to shield it from electromagnetic pulse, EMP for example. So putting like um, your thumb drive in here to uh, secure it from interference uh, from EMP pulse would be a good idea if you have something very um, important. Another use of this is also to let's say um, block signal from an electronic device or, or separate the uh, um, electronic device from one device to another. You can put this fabric in the middle to separate that. So many many use for this particular fabric but what I'm going to be using it for or I, I'm just going to experiment here of how effective the back is by putting my phone that is playing to a, U uh, to, to a Bluetooth to the speaker right here. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit more and uh, I'm going to um, bring it back again. Okay, so you can hear it is playing and I'm going to put it inside this fabric a little bit at a time. So this is going to be one layer and I'm going to put it in see if the music stops. Okay. So one layer did not stop the music. Kind of, almost. Actually, if I press it down, it stops it. It's very interesting. All right, so I'm going to put it into two layers. Let me see how I can do two layers. Let me flip it over. This top part right here is about two layers, so I'm going to put it in. So that's causing some pretty bad interference for sure. And if I press it down, I think it's leaking frequency here, so if I press it, Yep, it's leaking through here, the sound waves, radio waves. So one is not as good and uh, two is definitely better. Let's see if we does four. Well, it's already dead, even before I put it in. Hang on a second, maybe I press ex accidentally. No, it's still playing, it's just not connected to the Bluetooth anymore. So let's see if I can reconnect it real quick. Yeah, I lost it. Oh, it's still connected. Yeah, I lost the connection. Hang on a second. Okay. All right, so we're back and uh, this time I'm going to put it um, inside in the middle between like four plies of fabric and then I'm gonna fold it all right so I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to fold it okay Yep, definitely gone. Yeah, so the key here is that it has to be completely tight. Um, there's no way that the, uh, the signal can come out. That's the key.
All right, so the next experiment I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna coat it or put it inside one layer. But in this one layer, I'm gonna make sure I fold it really tight. So I wanna make sure that this was one layer, but I'm gonna make sure it is fully wrapped. Okay. That should be somewhat fully wrapped right there. Yeah. So just one layer fully wrapped, as long as it's completely wrapped, there's no signal that can come out. It actually works also. So it's amazing. Yep. Yeah. So this this one layer is basically just that thin and it can block all the frequency. Alright, just wanna demonstrate the Faraday bag or fabric. It also comes in a tape. This is a tape version of it. I don't know how good this is. It's probably just as good as that. And I plan to use this when I wrap the fabric. I will tape it with this also to make sure that all the signal gets separated or isolated using both the fabric or the bag and the tape. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up so other people can discover the video and learn from this incredible product. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.